parents addressed the board and provided several personal stories outlining cases of discrimination and inequitable treatment based on their personal beliefs. Uh, we heard testimonies about how kids are being bullied. We heard about how kids are being forced to sit through things that they don't agree with. And here's what gets me though. At the end of the meeting, um, Hillary then sat and dismissed it all away, saying that she goes to church too and that they've never felt discriminated against. So I guess it's one of those things um, where because one person in power hasn't seen it, it must not be true then, right? Uh, she then said, and I quote, I'm very sorry that people feel discriminated against because they weren't allowed to practice exclusionary ideology in our school buildings. That's kind of what felt like a slap in the face. Um, asking for the opportunity and not participating is only exclusionary to the one that's asking. And that person isn't forcing something else on others. We've got to do better than that. But I've, I've, but I've also been thinking. I think there's a lot that we do all truly agree on. That black lives actually do truly matter? Absolutely. That these kids need to be supported and seen where they're at? 100%. Where I think we, do, where I think we diverge a lot of times is on implementation. And we've all been hearing a lot in these meetings recently from a lot of people who are very unhappy with OSD's implementation of policy where what was really needed was heart. Because ultimately there are people and hearts at the core of all of these issues. Throughout history, every time we've forgotten this, it's gone very badly. And of all the things that I have loved about so many of our educators and administrators here is how their heart is in this. We've heard it tonight and how they meet each kid where they're at and build relationships. So let's get rid of the poisonous ideological policies and politics and empower them again to do what they're good at, core education and loving these kids. To parents here and otherwise, I think we all understand that our educators aren't gonna nail it every time. And there's probably a few bad apples as there is in every group. I encourage all of us to thank these educators and talk with them instead of at them. Most have dedicated their lives, their literal lives, to the well-being and education of our kids. And let's make sure that we're fighting against policies and not necessarily the educators. We've got to investigate new ways and creative ways to do better together. But speaking of investigating, six days ago, I was contacted by an investigator working on behalf of the district. What on earth am I being investigated? when everything I've said in emails is public record, and who ordered and authorized that is probably somebody in the room. And how much money is that going to cost? I mean, we can talk more about budget shortfall and how we're gonna cut things from administration, but there's gotta be a little bit there.